UCL Bartlett Unit 10 CJ Lim drawings. You guys asked for it. Right off the bat, no bullshit. Let me show you what I've done. Can you even tell which one is the original? I'm gonna show you from beginning to end how I did it. You cannot find anyone else who can do this quality, not even remotely close anywhere else online. So the first module, draw a box, fill out the edges to create this C shape we are looking thing. Array these cylinders to create this, uh, I don't even know what these are. Let's just call them canisters, okay? Now we're gonna create some floors with the railing beside. Draw the wireframe and pipe them to create these railings and array linear on the z-axis. Also draw a chimney and contour the chimney to create these details. Okay, so this is pretty much about the first module. Second module is easier. Just draw some boxes and fill the edges. Also draw some truss on the elevation. And don't forget the canisters hung on the facade. Those are important. The third module is kind of like a European house. We're going to start with the elevation and extrude it into a massing. Then we model the roof and offset the surface to create some thickness. Of course, don't miss the windows. Draw a nice circle of canopies on top of the windows and extrude it out. The European house. Flip around the third module and draw some trusses on the facade. And you got the fourth module. Create some slabs in the first module and we got the fifth module. The second last module is a little bit more tricky. You have some four slabs and these slabs are supported by trusses. And also it's like a cage with the lid open. Okay, the last one is like a tulip. Just draw a curve and sweep it around a circle. And there you have it, all the modules ready to be assembled. But before that, let's apply the materials to different layers. According to the color scheme, you got green, pink, dark green, and of course gray and white. I find it pretty easy to do because I have already grouped them before. Essentially what I'm doing is to assign layers to the groups. Okay, perfect. Let's start putting them together. Okay, so basically you see the more detailed modules are being put in front. And in the background you also have an array of houses. Set the camera to two point perspective and get the sun position right so that we get the correct lighting. Now export the channels out. We got the shadow channel, the material ID layer, and of course the line drawing layer and put them all in Photoshop and we can start texturing and coloring. I'm going to start with this checkerbox pattern. And of course we can use a magic wand to select the areas we want to put on a color fill. Now in this stage you really want to follow a color scheme. Now we're overlaying the shadow layers. Now we're using a curve adjustment layer to make the shadow pop. Next up we're going to add some extra black and highlight area. Extra black is like an oxymoron. You can't be blacker than black, right? So I think it's important when you're doing these kinds of drawings to understand the concept of tonal value. To make an aesthetically pleasing drawing, you need a full spectrum of shades, and that includes highlight and shadow. So right now, I'm putting on some highlights on the roofs, and you see they really make the drawing pop. One thing you don't want to miss in a Bartlett style drawing is a cloud. Scatter some clouds around. Another trick is to copy the background around to make the drawing like a full bleed drawing. Which means the content extends all the way to the edges, like in a painting. Go to Google and download some European house. Apply the filter and also add some street lamps. For the people, I would use the Photoshop brush because I only need them to be in silhouettes. Make sure you have like different colors like yellow, orange but they have to go well with the color scheme. Speaking of the color scheme, red is missing and therefore the student put a red hat on the Eiffel Tower, I don't know why. Look at the brush fly. Okay, in a student's defense, I think this is some mist produced by the building system in this design. Some final touch up with the curve and saturation and there you have it. Okay, so some reflection time. So personally, I've been to the Bartlett Summer Show like a couple years ago and I do want to say that those drawings, they are stunning in a way that when you look at them like real close, there are still super details and they don't miss a line. And these kind of drawings, they are the culmination of a year of work in the studio, especially people miss the point. I mean, these beautiful drawings, they don't even scratch the surface. 
there are a lot of hard work behind. They usually spend like 50 weeks to research on the structure, on the form, on the social context, or even the construction detail in 1 to 5. So I'll leave the link down below for those of you who want to check out the student works in detail. And I'll see you later.